that uh, the new technologies uh, allow uh, artists to use totally new tools. And uh, I mean, video art has been now a mainstay of uh, the contemporary art market for uh, the last 20 years. But um, I think that it's still very difficult to anticipate uh, what totally new novel type of artworks will um, you know, be introduced in, into what we know today. As, and, and so there will be much wider uh, use of mediums uh, at the disposal of an artist working today or tomorrow. I think there are plenty of people who try to bring scientists and artists together to see, you know, uh, how to uh, create a cross-fertilization between those worlds. Uh, there are specific artists whose uh, work overall really focuses on that aspect. One of the most interesting uh, British artists is Keith Tyson, uh, and he is very much plugged in into what happens in the scientific world, and his whole uh, work is actually based on that, and that's an example of uh, the influence of what's happening in the scientific world on the artistic world.